Welcome back to another day at Franklin's Garage here in Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. Well, today's project is going to be this. What this is, it's a 1993 Sakura Supa, which if you could tell by the body style, it quite, quite coincidentally resembles the 93 Toyota Supra. So we're going to clean the interior right now, and then we'll worry about the body afterwards. Car always getting in the way. And I see a lot of people when they build these type of cars that they always got to do the orange with the Fast and Furious. Yeah, I'm not doing that one. It's gonna look like a canary when we're done. Literally. It's gonna look good though. There we go, I think the body's stripped. Perfect. Now we'll do the interior now. Get all the pieces out of that. Perfect, bring over the welder. Oh, close this up. Don't want to get dust on the uh, broke motor. Bring over the welder. Use the equipment, perfect. All right, now we're gonna go throw some paint on this. Paint shop we do. Alright. Yeah. I'll go black for this. A lot of moving pieces to this car, I tell you. More than the average one. I'll worry about that when I'm done doing the rest of it. Yeah. Kinda weird on how. Huh. I believe that's the yellow I'll be using. Hope it is. Actually, I should do this black. These black. The wheels I'm gonna be putting on here are gonna be. Is gonna be. This is the yellow. Now come on. Don't be scared to paint. Yeah, we're going to do these black this time. I think it'll look ten times better myself, but that's my opinion. So how's everyone doing today? Everybody doing good? That's good. Hope you all are having a good day like I am. Alright, I think we're done with those ones for now. Uh, I'll figure something out here about this. I'm not really a fan. It looks real blotchy, doesn't it? Hmm. Well, it's a little bit better than that one, though. You can't really even hardly see the color. Alright, we'll give this one a whirl. Let's we'll see what it looks like. Let's see, what's the head look like? Banana yellow. Hmm. This gives me an idea. Probably a little easier to see when I put it together. Uh, which means this is going to have to go. Yeah, no. That's going to be black. Yellow, 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 yellow. Whew, bright yellow. Ah 
has an idea of what we're going to be doing. Oh, wait, no, wrong one. Hold the phone. See, because I did the block yellow, and I can do the oil pan black, which will help for the cross members. Black, the intake will be yellow. So we'll do this. Oh, wait. Uh, where are you right here? That will be yellow. Might be too much yellow for the top side of the motor, but it is what it is. Son of a gun. Dang, seems like it's really starting to act up tonight. Oh well. Gotta fix my paint move by the looks of it. Oxidants hopping. Whew, that's a bright tranny. Can't miss that one putting it on. I love the color of this black, nice and shiny. Painty, uh, painty, painty. Painty, 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 painty. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just skimming through here making sure I don't miss anything this time around. Can you see me now? Nice bright yellow. Which I'm probably going to kick myself in the butt thinking I should have did that one black later on, but eh. Is what it is. What if the next color would be yellow? Yellow, yellow. Uh, no, we're going to leave that chrome, the alternator chrome. And we should be pretty good actually. Well, not, not finished yet, but. Alright, yellow for these. Alright, we're finally starting to get into the rear of the car. Next color is black. We got a block yellow, why not do that black, right? your oil pan, you gotta go black. Mm. Yellow. We gotta do a yellow next. Alright, that will be this. Because like I said, I always match these to the cross member in the car, so... I don't know why, it's just something I do. So I always do the shocks and struts block, and then the springs will normally be whatever color the body of the car is. As a rule, anyway. Doesn't always play out like that, but... I try to do it like that anyway. Now I have no idea how well this color is going to match each other. It could look gaudy, it could look awful, it could just be nasty. Who knows? I don't know until I put the car together. Uh, yellow, I believe. 
this next color. Hmm. Huh. Guess it looks alright. Like I said though, it always looks better when you put it on the car. Either change the color or it is what it is. See how they got the black inserts? Oh, makes it look yellow. And that's the reason why I did the calipers black, is because I knew I was doing the wheels yellow. Whether or not it looks alright, like I said, I won't know until I put it all together. Oh, I keep making that simple mistake. Oh well. It's like I'm a rookie in the shop or something. My first day on the job, you know. Look at that shine on there, that's beautiful. I love that shine. I love it, I love it, I love it. And I do like to thank everybody for the um, subscribing and for the likes on my on the videos here. It's really helpful. Now we just need more. We need to boost this up tremendously. It'll happen in due time. Yeah, I did the intake yellow. I'm not doing the throttle yellow. I think we're basically almost done with the yellow. And I'll do the wheel hub caps yellow. I don't think those um, timing covers are going to look good yellow. I think it's going to remind me of the uh, air box. So I have a feeling those are going to be going black. All done, I think. Yeah, okay. On to the next. Let's just see. Yeah, that don't look good at all. So, that works. We'll go like so. This can be done yellow because it'll actually look pretty decent. Wow, oh, better than what the timing cover looks like yellow anyway. Um, do this black. The injectors are black. I just don't understand why we can't paint the performance coils. I don't get it. You could paint the non-performance ones. But for some reason they won't let you paint the performance ones. Now, yeah, well. Alright, I think this is the last and final piece. Alright, let's start assembling. Out the door, across the field, and into the engine world. Alright, what we're looking for is I6BUT. Right here. Because we've taken out the non turbo motor and we're putting in a turbo motor. Oh yeah, it looks alright I guess. Better than what I thought it was going to look like anyway. Alright, we'll do the center first. We'll go to the outside front. Go 
I can get uh, to go on. Perfect. Pull it back. I'll go to the next one in. I'll go to the last and final one right here. We'll put the piston in. Probably have about an extra eight eight piston rings because well <laughs> when they did the hemi yesterday or in the last video yeah which would have been yesterday uh like i said i wasn't paying attention about the wrong piston rings for it so no point in delete or getting rid of them because you know i can always use them on the next build i normally always end up buying new ones anyway so i don't like dust on my rings When we're done building the motor, is when I will run, do the, put the shocks together, and put the wheels and tires together. All right, put the flywheel, clutch plate, clutch pressure plate, and then throw it bearing. Or in the game, in this, it's called clutch release bearing. <coughs> Alright, I think we're done there. Now it's time to flip her up. Get up, get up. Put the big head on. I hope I bought enough cam caps. Lot 14, 7 per side, so. Put the plugs in. And the coils. What you could do too is put the camshafts in, and then as you're putting in the cam caps, you, they're in line with each other with the spark plugs. So, but I just hate forgetting to put a spark plug in, and then everything goes together on. It. It's like, oh no, because now you got to fight on your hands. I forgot to buy something. The whole reason why I did the cylinder head black. Aha! And they call me Mr. Forgetful. Alright, where are you? Uh, there you are, there's one. And there's two. To the paint shop, back we go. Over the, over the hill, and across the field. Go to my little door. Alright, where there you are. I knew I was forgetting something. Yeah. It's not my favorite this color, but yellow is what yellow is. It's my daughter's favorite color, so At least I think it is anyway. She always asks if I can do a yellow and black or yellow and purple cars, so Almost done, almost done. Leave in the comments, do you guys like short videos, long videos? What do you prefer? To me, it drives me nuts when people do a half a car in one video and a half a car in another video. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not for that. Do it all in one video. Although I have been slipping because the last two I haven't, I haven't actually aligned the cars, so. Holy canary yellow much. I thought we were looking at banana, but that's more like a canary. Alright, put 
put this on, put the cam gears on. Yeah, let's put the exhaust manifold on. And we'll stick the two views. All six bolts holding it on. Put the water pump on. Water pump pulley. And you gotta put the water pump on before you can put the first serpentine belt on. And once you do that, then you can do this. And then you can do this. Alright, now we're gonna do the intake. Fuel injector rail. Throttle. Well, I guess it's not too, too bad. Oh, there's gonna be too much yellow on top, but that's not gonna be too, too bad. Cool. Put the rollers on. Power stream pump. Look at that, I got it right first. Perfect. What? Uh oh. I forgot parts again. Yeah, we'll get it done. Alternator. I wonder why you can't paint the alternator. It's weird. Well, I guess that looks alright. Luckily, the timing cover block really, really stands out. All right, I believe the motor is. Oh wait, did I put a, did I put a fuel filter in? No. Leave me chasing my tail trying to figure out why the car is not trying to start later. All right, perfect. Close this. Now we go and raise this up. Well, first, I'll put this back. While that's lifting up, check out one of the cars I brought from my parking today, Chrysler 300. Sharp looking car. Fully done, fully detailed, fully painted white. It's a nice looking car. This is the same color as the Mustang right here that's inside the shop. Right here. I figured it looked nice on the wheels of the car. Oop, can't look over there. That's next videos. Alright, first things first, we've got to get the motor out. So let's rip this drive shaft out and the transmission. Ah, spray it with the fluid. I didn't do the a couple pieces here. Hmm. Yeah, let's put this over here. Wow, no motor. What a hole. Alright, well, quickly I'm going to run back over here. Mm, I think I want to do... I'm going to split the coloring on the fuse box this time. Crud, which one? What, what style fuse box is it? Oh, yeah, that's right, it's a... Duh. You guys don't see this. Being sneaky sneaky. Actually this doesn't look too bad. So we're gonna do it black for the base. And then the lid. We are going to do a yellow. Cool. Pretty sure I have everything now. At least I hope I do. Alright. I need to finish up over here. Oh yeah. It's gonna look alright. Ah, I ain't got no battery. Now we're going to balance the bad boys.
Yeah, I put that big tire, the big off-road tire, I put that one in my storage finally, so. I think I have no more problems with uh, putting it on instead of something else. I do love how quick these tire machines are this time around. Shoot, back when I had my shop opened up in 2018, these those machines were so slow. Oh my good lord. I see they improvised it. They made it better. And yes, I've already had this wheel off to figure out what size wheels I actually had to put on it. Or what size I was actually able to. So, it's what it is. Keep wanting to go to a different part. Leave in the comments what other type of things you'd like to see, what other type of games or anything along those lines. Let me know. And if I have it, we'll do it. Seems like most people only are only really interested in the car mechanic series. It's nice, don't get me wrong. stuck a bolt all right knuckle time to go bye bye dang half the parts on the car are missing huh Like I said, as long as that piece is on, you can put the rear wheel on. It's so weird. Bye bye, cross member. Alright, I pulled bushings, I take off the caliper. Onward, James. Something's telling me I didn't buy enough uh, bushings. Or not bushings, wheel bearings. <laughs> Dang, there's like no bushings in this car at all. Wow. Alright, time to move to the other side. Take off the wheel, sway bar link, tie rod, and out comes these two pieces. I guess I take out the lower arm too. Yeah, just so you guys are aware, uh, that SRT wide body challenger video I posted, uh, I actually put that up last night about 3.30 in the morning, and it only finally came on this afternoon, so, well earlier in the day I should say, like five hours after I did it or something like that. Alright, she's all, well, almost all stripped out. I guess I'll buy the interior for it. Super, 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 super. So close to saying super, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to my go-to seat. One that I really, really appreciate. This one. 
Alrighty, we're gonna go to this one. Two day paint shop, we go. Better close the door. Put the interior in. Now we assemble the car. Hey, how'd that door already get yellow? Just curious, would you guys like to see uh, junkyard builds? Well, most of my cars do come from the junkyard. But like, for instance, almost like a rat rod style where you, I don't fix up the body and I more or less just put myself on a budget where I can only spend so much and I, can, I only have that certain amount to get it going, getting it to run. My favorite, my favorite taillights for this car is those ones, the stock factory ones, not, not the upgraded ones. Alright, I think we're done, time for paint. Mm. Yeah, we'll go with this one. Got any that you got any liveries for it? Ooh. That don't look too bad. But you see what I mean? The white actually looks white. It doesn't go chrome. Yeah, because I got all the other parts black. And I ain't doing it orange. Yeah, that's that's a little too much black around. So we'll just go with this one. And back here, if so I don't get covered in yellow, perfect. To the shop we go. All right, done. Lift it up and put the car together. I still don't think I did anything underneath the hood yet. Alright, let me see something here. What's this? Uh, we're going to have to wait on the exhaust. Until the motor's in the car. Oh, I need some bushings. Uh oh. Oh no, not the bushing. Got 50 of these, should be good enough for a couple cars. Alright. Bushing Mania, man. Huh. Oh, there. Huh. Oh. Have any other pieces? Cool. Probably none of these. No. Alright, cross member B, or er, sway bar B, put you in. Now we start building. Just kept making me run away further. <laughs> now I left these this color because the arms are already blocked, the springs are already blocked. What color am I going to go with? Put the upper arm on, and then I can do the nut, or then I can put all the pieces on to put the wheel on. The brake rotors, the calipers, the yeah, hubs. The bearings. Oh, never mind, I got a crap ton of bearings. Put these rotors on. 
as well and they look like it's a fast car I've only had it crank out more than 500 horsepower one time and I actually think that was in that uh, the Skyline the Miso edition I think that's what it's called but yeah hey, back up I need to put the bushing in I need to put the bushing in I'm going to use that bushing alright let me put the bottom arm on the trailing arm cap the spring and the other cap so many different hats you gotta wear I forgot to put something in the fuel tank hey, get over there thank you oh, I lost my part Ooh, that looks not bad. What am I missing? Oh, duh. Don't worry, I'll be okay next week. One would think, anyway. Alright, front cross member. Here we come. Banana yellow. She might yell around me. Now, in theory, I should need the BU2 T edition for the front exhaust pipe. If I'm not mistaken. But I've been wrong on these cars before many, many times. A or link A. Ah, I did get it right. Perfect. Normally, every time it's a sway bar or strut front end, it's normally sway bar A and or just sway bar and then also uh, sway bar and link A. Hey, they actually put them first this time. How nice is that? I love the sound of a good old fashioned impact. What? Oh, I forgot. Oh, yeah, looks not bad. Cool. Forgot my other strut. Oh, where I'll get it. something a little bit different this time around. It's been a while since I've done the windows on a car. This one, I think it's I think it's gonna suit it. Alright. Let's come under here, rip all this. 
this junk out. Get ready to put new stuff in. Woohoo, talk about close call, eh? Look at that, barely any gap. Hope let's not take this car over rough roads. Might not make it home. We're all making home with a cut up wheel. Wouldn't be the first time. Where is that going? Scratch the little eyeball. Alright, I think we're basically done and start assembling everything now. See, when you're doing black, it makes everything so much easier to assemble. Easier to see. You do it yellow, you ain't gonna see nothing. Found that one out the hard way. Alright, time to install uh, extremely large fuses. What? Oh no, I got no red. Or brown, I mean. Alright, bear with me here, folks. I'm gonna buy some. 50 of these bad boys. I don't nickel and dime, you know. I guess technically I do, but. Look at that, all brand new. Red and then a brown, and then the cover can go back on this. Awesome. Nice. Alrighty. I think I got a battery. Now we don't need an electric fan for this one because it's already got the fan on the motor. This it should be ready to drop the motor in. Oh wait, I gotta put the ECU in. Hee <laughs> hee. Performance. Yeah. Alright, time for the motor. I gotta bring cherry picker back over. <laughs> Sorry about sniffling guys, I'm still just not quite feeling right. I don't know if it's an allergy or if I caught something. I don't have a clue. All right. Ooh, pretty. Hey, we're almost done. Just gotta put the fluids in, put the transmission in, drive shaft. And I'm pretty sure we can actually go hit the dyno with it and make a whole whopping 480 to 490 horsepower. If I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. Now this engine oil and brake fluid kinda need to stop maybe in the next video I'll bring out a Thor one of Ham Ham Hammersdale or Hammerdale can't remember how to pronounce the car the last one I made did 2300 horsepower it was unreal Let me tell you, I wasn't expecting that.
All right, next up, transmission go or transmission drive shaft. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be it after this. What am I missing? Parts 97, body 90, because I don't have license plates on it yet. Huh. Okay. Yeah. No, it still says the same. So, okay. What is it, you? Okay, and um, I think we need a middle muffler. Now, do I have a starter for this thing or no? I didn't figure I did have one. See, still gotta buy a few parts. Thought I was doing good, thought I had everything. Well, we don't happen to that thought, like, right out the window. Like most of the times. Definitely got enough drive shafts, holy. Alright, put this on. A catalytic converter. Catalytic converter. And I think we're ready to rock and roll. Move over to the dyno. Yeah, 281 would be, be nice for me, 500. If you look closely at the center of the logo there, you can actually see the back wheel spinning. Come on, David Klein. Come on, David Klein. Oh, Just fell short. Just a little bit. 453. Pfft. What the heck kind of garbage is that? Alright, I guess it's time to align it. And that will conclude the video for this time around. And we'll do the headlights too, what the heck. Perfect. Alright guys, please like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more videos. And that way then when I post a video, you'll be the first in line to get it. Won't have no delays. Uh, thank you very much for tuning into this. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Ciao.